Forgotten Sunrise, Chapter 21, Tourists. Wow, and I thought Maritime Bay was impressive! Sprout commented as he got out of the truck and onto the dirt road that slowly ascended the looming mountain. Sunny drove as long as she could, then Sprout drove almost through the entire night, stopping just outside the forest so they didn't have to navigate the river in the dark. So with that, Sprout got four hours of sleep alongside Sunny, and as soon as dawn gave them light on their surroundings, they traveled down the river as they had when they were racing back to Zephyr Heights when Sunset had first come through the mirror and raced up through the city to the palace. Parking the truck just off to the side of the river and dirt road to the abandoned castle, they were both rested for the most part, and now had the better part of a day to spend in Zephyr Heights, before going up to the palace for Princess Pip's concert. Sprout made sure they were far enough off the path before giving the doors of the truck test pulls to confirm they were locked. There probably wouldn't be a whole lot of hoof traffic, but Queen Haven had opened up the castle exterior to photographic tours, and some were taking advantage of that to see what ruin was found in the middle of the forest. Oh, here. Sunny began, reaching into her left saddlebag and tossed Sprout a chocolate-covered granola bar. Something for the hike, then we can grab some brunch somewhere in the city. Sprout immediately unwrapped the bar and started into it as they began uphill. How much of a hike are we talking? Sprout asked, his mouth half full of his light breakfast. Well, it probably won't be as strenuous as it has been in the past. They've been making the grades more gentle, and that makes the trek up and down a little easier. Sunny was right. In the past few weeks, they had added wooden guardrails to more easily define the path as the ascents left the forest behind and it became more rocky and jagged. But it was either this, or take the long way around, and that would have taken more than half of their day. Sprout was very much anticipating a day in a new city as a tourist. His granola and fruit bar complete, Sprout crumpled up the wrapper and stuffed it in one of his saddlebag's smaller pockets, for disposal once they got into the city. For now, Sunny was content to sip at her canteen of water that was slung over her shoulder. Any idea of what kind of food you want to look for once we get up there? Sunny asked, as they rounded the next hairpin and continued climbing. Well, I know some franchises from here that have started to make their way to Maritime Bay, but... Let's look for something that we can't get back home, Sprout answered. Should be plenty of options, then, Sunny replied. It was a half-hour climb before they came to the top, and greeted two tourists who were on their way down. To the right of the gates was a welcome sign. Welcome to Zephyr Heights. We hope you enjoyed the climb, and that you also enjoy your stay. They walked over to a trash bin to throw away their granola bar wrappers and sat down at a bench to catch their breath from the climb. Sunny took the opportunity to dig out her phone and text Pip. Sprout and I just got into town, parked at the bottom of the mountain. You and Sunset available for breakfast? It was barely a minute before a reply came, and her phone vibrated in her hooves. Sorry, Sunset is joining our band for dress rehearsals pretty much all day. Hope you two enjoy yourselves. We'll see you at the concert tonight. All right. Well, it looks like you and me until the concert tonight, Sprout. So, what'll it be? She asked, as he looked over a pamphlet that he grabbed at a kiosk just inside the gates. Ooh, sky-high pizza bagels! Sprout said excitedly. I thought you said you wanted something you couldn't get in Maritime Bay. Sunny interjected. Yeah? I've never had pizza on a bagel before! The stallion replied. Sunny chuckled. It didn't take much at all to drive Sprout back towards his favorite food, and they'd likely have to grab another meal before the concert anyway. Alright, pizza bagels it is. Lead the way. Sonny told him, getting up from the bench and continued heading towards downtown. Zephyr Heights was still primarily Pegasi, but there were a few unicorns and earth ponies here and there, as the city was just as quick as Maritime Bay to get a tourism board up and running and get their city as welcoming as possible to outsiders as they could in a timely manner. The castle towered above everything else in the city, but down here in the downtown area, you couldn't really tell most of the time, with the billboards everywhere. It was somewhat overwhelming to Sprout, 
his eyes darting from one building to the next. <sighs> Remind me to never bring Mom here, Sprout commented, motioning to the electronic billboards. She'd have Maritime Bay covered in these things. Uh, maybe we run an idea by Hitch. Get him to pass some ordinance to proactively prevent that. The mayor suggested. <sighs> oh, here it is! Sprout exclaimed. The signage above the building was a graphic of a pair of winged bagels breaking through the clouds. Sky-high bagels. Out front was a whiteboard with the specials of the day. The breakfast bagel supreme? That has my attention. Sunny commented, as Sprout took a minute to look at the board. Then, they stepped in through the double doors. The line wasn't too bad, and they both stood back and eyed the menu above the serving line. Hello, and welcome to Sky High Bagels. Step forward whenever you're ready to order. The blue pegasus stallion behind the counter greeted. Oh god, it's not too early for lunch. Sprout commented, licking his lips. Granola bar didn't last long, huh? Sonny asked, stepping up to the counter with him. Hey, you said it was for the climb, and I believe we are done climbing. Sprout shot back with a smirk. I think I'll try your stuffed supreme bagel, please, and an apple juice. Coming right up. And for you, ma'am? The Pegasus asked Sonny. What's on your breakfast bagel deluxe? She asked. Ah, our morning special. That's a bagel cut in half, dipped in egg wash, pan-fried, then topped with a mini pancake, drizzled with strawberry syrup, and given a dusting of powdered sugar. Sonny's mouth began to water. Yep, I believe I'll give that a try, with an apple juice as well, thank you. Alright, one stuffed supreme, one breakfast deluxe, and two apple juices. Twelve bits, please. Sprout and Sonny handed him six bits apiece. And after depositing it in a drawer, he immediately went to work. Sprout wasn't too sure about cream cheese on pizza, as he saw him scoop out the bagel before filling it. But nothing ventured, nothing gained. Once the cream cheese was spread around, it was covered in a hearty tomato sauce. Sprinkled with bits of mozzarella, and popped in the oven while he went to work on Sunny's order. Her dad had made her fancy toast before, but Sunny had to admit she had never seen it done with a bagel. But as the frying started, Sonny only got more hungry from the inviting smells wafting up from the frying pans. By the time both the bagel and the pancake were done, the oven timer went off, and the cook went over to pull out Sprout's bagels. With them now about ready for serving, the Pegasus plated up Sprout's bagels before sprinkling the bubbling tomato sauce and cheese with basil. Then, he moved over to Sonny's plate where he expertly handled a spatula, placing the pancakes on top of both bagels. He gave them a generous dusting of powdered sugar, before drizzling both halves with strawberry syrup. He slid both plates across to them on a platter with two glasses of apple juice. And there we are. Please enjoy, and thank you for visiting. The two Earth ponies thanked him and went to a booth with a good view of the streets, which was becoming more lively as noon got closer. They took their first bites at the same time, and their eyes widened almost simultaneously. Oh my stars! Sunny said, the flavors mixing brilliantly and exploding across her taste buds. Sprout was having a very similar experience. Okay, these guys have to follow Heights Castle and come to Maritime Bay! Sunny commented, taking a sip of her apple juice and immediately going back for more. Oh, you said it! Sprout surprisingly took his time. And Sonny understood why. These bagels were a work of art. It would be wrong to not savor each and every bite. Man, I want a pizza bagel, but it's the frozen kind. And maybe one of these days actually making one would be way more rewarding. Anywho, let's get on to our scrumptious donators. Top donators are 630, Badass Waffle, Only One Thing, Subaru Orion, and Iron Sky. Darkside, Raiden, Narwhal's Black Moon, Heart Past Off Skies, Austin Rollins, Stu Hex, Sword Brother, Amor, Dread, Omicron, Lyrae, Rune Slack, Nanny, 52, Will, Chris, Twinkie, Ride, Soul, Shadow, Moon, Luigi, 88, Chancellor, Crust, Vic, Smoke, 369, Jesse Smith, Bobcat, GTF, and many more fantastic people. Thank you all so much for watching this video, and live life to the fullest.